Hello again, this is David Ward and Matt Marcus, and we are here to do a video on how to do the return, chip, return trip check-in report. Once again, you're going to go to orgit.pbworks.com, scroll down to return trip check-in report. Again, this form is important. This is the one that lets us know the trip is returned and everything's okay, and we don't need to call out the Calvary. This trip report goes to me, Matt Marcus, David Nobby, uh, as well as the CRC Associate Director. We're going to start off with the trip name. Please put the same trip name here that you did on the morning re report. This is so that we know the same trips that went out or the same trips that came back. Once again, TL name and email. Uh, as with the last form, if you type in your email address uh, that is accessible, it will send you a confirmation email with all of this information. Again, this is a uh, form that the TL name gets listed, but it can be done by anyone, instructor, instructor in training, good delegation for them. For the date, if you click on the calendar, you can just click today and it fills in it automatically. Also, the uh, form can be done uh, online at your house when you get back. If you got back early enough, it can be done here at Orgid or on your smartphone. Did the trip return to origin and is now over? If you're filling out the form, it should be a yes. If it is a no, you should not be filling out this form yet. Were there any incidences that you need to report? Uh, if yes, it will give a box. Uh, please explain the incident in detail. For now, we also need you to fill out the incident report form located in the first aid kit. But in the future, the incident report form will also be an online form. Was there anything used from the first aid kit? Uh, if so, please list the items used and how many of each item. This will help the outpost staff keep our first aid kits up to date. So this may even be a thing that's not incident report, uh, report worthy. If someone got a little boo-boo and you gave them a band-aid for their little boo-boo, not really incident report worthy, uh, but at least let us know so we can keep the first aid kits supplied well. Next, we have the debrief boxes. The first one is the group debrief box. Uh, the note over here, please include any notes on how the support group or Orgit can improve the customer experience. This is just uh, when you are talking with the group at the end of the day and you do roses and thorns or whatever game you do, um, include the notes that they have so that we see reoccurring themes. We can uh, improve our processes to deliver a better product to the customer. And this is both things that the participants said, but even staff. So what worked well with the staff uh, working with the group as well. Next we have the staff debrief box. This is for the debrief that you do after the participants are gone. Um, we would like to know we would like to know any notes that uh, we can do to better facilitate the staff uh, running these trips whether it be outpost policies, your support group policies, or ORGIT policies in general. Finally, we have gear notes. Uh, does anything need to be fixed or replaced? Was the trailer broken? Uh, does, is there a caving gear that went missing? Um, anything like that? Please note that here so that uh, we can get the information to the proper people and record that in our inventory. And this may be also first aid kits as well. So you didn't use anything for the first aid kit. Uh, or you tried to use it but it wasn't there, you might put that here as well, or things you just thought should be in there. And once again, when you hit submit, it will say thank you for letting us know, and you can go to your email account, and the confirmation, confirmation message will have anything that you filled into those boxes. And again, if you need to go back and edit that report, you can go back, fill it in again, just the name of the trip, your name and email, uh, and any edits or changes that you wanted to make. Thank you very much, and we hope this helps with your new paperwork. And now that all of these are filled out at the end of a trip, Matt and David can go to sleep for the night. Thanks.